Joe, we're in the Yankees Museum. I know you've never been here, so I figured what better than to bring in the curator, Brian Richards, mm -hmm. to show us around a little bit. I think it's great. I mean, there's a lot of baseball. He's got a lot of explaining to do here. Exactly. We'll start with the ball wall. What are the requirements sure. to get on this ball wall? Well, the ball wall we have is an ongoing project. Our goal is to collect assigned baseball from everybody who's ever played for the Yankees or been a manager, a coach, a broadcaster, even on radio and television. And Joe, you're one of the few people who qualifies in all four of those categories. <laughs> so does he take up like a whole row? Broadcaster, he really player, should. manager? He, he's deserving of that, so I think. So how many balls are here right now? We have 870 right now. It's a work in progress. We're still collecting. So, and what are you going to do when you run out of space? Stop signing players, I suppose. I guess. Right. <laughs> I don't think that that's going to happen. Probably not. We have a few ideas we're considering. We just want to make sure we do the right thing space-wise and cost-wise. Okay. Now, you've seen some of the players. Obviously, sure. you know the history of the Yankees. Do mm -hmm. you have a favorite autograph? Well, one of my favorites is the oldest baseball we have. It's actually right here. This baseball was signed by Ed Sweeney back in 1914. Sweeney was our catcher. Uh, from 1908 to 1915. He only hit three home runs in his whole career, but one of those was a game winner. We call it a walk-off home run today uh, that he hit in 1914, the day before that ball was dated. So I think the puzzle pieces fit together to show that's probably the ball he hit for that home run. Joe, if you could find one on the wall right now, who would you like to say? Well, Lou Gehrig, obviously. He's yeah. one of my favorite Yankees of all time, but what's his home run baker? Give me a little history behind Home run that. Baker. Sure. He was actually our first great power hitter that we had. He was a great third baseman, a Hall of Famer for the Philadelphia A's in the early 1910s. And we acquired him in 1915. Uh, he played here for about seven or eight years. He was our first great slugger. When he was in spring training with the A's as a rookie, he had two home runs. And rookies weren't really hitting home runs in those days, so hence the name. So where's Lou Gehrig? Lou Gehrig, he's going to be down here. Let's go take a look. That's one of the most popular baseballs, as you might imagine, and with good reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are, Joe. There I am, yeah. Are you okay with the real estate? Uh, oh, I think it's great. The other thing is my ball hasn't faded that much. That means I'm that's not right. that old, so that's a good thing. That's right. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Lou Gehrig is right there. Wow. Beautiful handwriting. Yeah, that's a beautiful. Right next to Mr. Steinbrenner's it's, baseball. It's kind of neat, too. You can read it. So, I mean, right. that's, mm -hmm. CeCe's there and mm -hmm. um, obviously guys that I've managed sure. and played with. Mm -hmm. and really neat. Great, right. great exhibit. Love it. So how do you decide what order they go mm -hmm. in? Well, there's no special order. The baseballs are just added as they're collected. And that makes it fun to go through and see players you might remember, some you may have forgotten about. A lot that might surprise you, too. So now, if a player goes on to play for another team and right. hits a home run against us, do you take the ball down? <laughs> do we get rid of it? Do we throw it out? That's an idea. That might be a way yeah. of uh, controlling the population yeah. here. No, if they do something that. to beat us, let's get rid of them. That's right. That's if you right. ever decide you want to get rid of Babe Ruth's ball, I'd be happy to take it off You're your hands. You're a willing candidate to willing take Willing candidate. That. That's fine. I'll I mean, his signature is great, too. You it can is. read it. Um, it's Beautiful clear. Handwriting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joe, did you enjoy signing autographs? Yeah. And, and you know what? I enjoy collecting them. You know, I, I've collected Hall of Famer baseballs and baseball players from modern guys that I've played with, you know, guys that have joined the 500 club, the 600 club, that sort of thing. I, I, I think it's a great memory for me, and, and I keep them locked up and put away. 